At the end of the day, no matter what country you're in, what religion you are a part of, or what age you are, all moms, I feel, are all interconnected with all of our routines. We all do the same things for our family. We give of ourselves. We do homework with the kiddos, prepare dinner at night, enjoy some quality time with them in the evening. And I just want this video to showcase that simple bare bones routine that all of us moms have and i hope you guys enjoy this video My weeknight routines are pretty much the same every single day. After work, I pick up my little ones, we do some homework and have a little bit of snack and they spend some time outdoors. I love that I live on a dead end street so my kids can actually enjoy playing in the front yard. After they have a little bit of exercise outside, I make way, my way back into the kitchen and make some dinner. Today on the menu, I really, really wanted to have some French onion soup and I'm always amazed that my kids actually love this soup. I guess because of the texture and onions, I always felt like kids are grossed out by it, but I'm just so happy that they really do enjoy it and they feel like they're adults with the cheese and the crackers and it's so gourmet and it's really not that hard to make and it is so simple to put together. And even though it's um, almost summer outside, we still do enjoy a delicious cup of soup. So what I'm going to be doing here is using about three large onions. These are yellow onions and they are on the larger side of it. I'm cleaning them up and washing them and using my food processor to slice the entire thing up. I always used to use a mandolin slicer to do the slicing for my French onion soup but my food processor actually comes with a slicer and you can adjust the thickness of it which is so pretty cool and it does the job in seconds which is always nice to have some time saving um, equipment in your house so this is definitely my go-to my favorite I will have this linked in my description box in my Amazon storefront if you guys are interested now that all of the onions are sliced up nicely i'm going to be putting it into my dutch oven um, i have about two tablespoons of oil with about two tablespoons of butter in the pot that i'm melting and adding in all of the onions now to season the onions and to get it to release its natural sugars and sweat a little bit i do add in one tablespoon of sugar as you'll see and this is just not a bleached sugar it's regular sugar that's brown uh, but not brown sugar so I add one heaping teaspoon of that and then I season it with some salt and black pepper. Every five minutes or so I just mix the onions around and you're going to get this deep deep brown color to your onions when they're finished sauteing. I then add in three cloves of minced garlic, give everything a good mix and now to thicken the soup I'm going to add one tablespoon one and a half tablespoons of all-purpose flour and that's just going to make sure that your soup isn't very very thin in the end but has some body to it um, I don't always do this but when I do do it I'm actually very happy that I do it because it just adds a different I guess silkiness to your soup at the very end so I do definitely recommend you do this To remove any of the dry bits from the bottom of the pan, 
I add in about two teaspoons of apple cider vinegar and scrape all of those bits off. And once everything is for the most part scraped off, I add in boiling hot water to the soup. Now to season the soup, I add in some onion soup mix inside. I use one tablespoon of that and I add in a little bit more of salt and pepper. Make sure to obviously mix it and taste it and make sure it's to your you know, palate and liking. And I do enjoy adding bay leaves to any kind of soup. It just adds a really deep, um, rich flavor to it. At this point, I cover the soup with the lid and let it cook for 30 to 45 minutes. I also have this in my freezer. It's basically some French baguettes and they're frozen and you just cook them up in like according to the baking instructions. So it's nice to have when you don't have any bread on hands, you just whip it out of your freezer and bake it. The soup after 45 minutes is looking incredible, thick, rich and delicious. And I can't wait to show you what it looks like at the end. To serve the soup, I place it into an oven safe ramekin like this one. Make sure to fish out all of the bay leaves so you don't get any surprises. Over the soup, I place about two to three slices of the toasted baguettes right on top and then I use some mozzarella cheese. I don't have any other fancy cheese over here so I'm just using some plain mozzarella cheese, adding that to the top and placing that into my oven. If you don't have any oven safe ramekins, you can totally do this in a regular um, I guess like cereal bowl and um, you just won't be melting the cheese off in the oven like I'm doing it here and that's totally fine. This is what it looks like after it's done, after the cheese is done melting in the oven. It looks so good. I just want to like dive in through the screen and have a spoonful of this yummy delicious soup. The cheese becomes ooey and gooey and the aroma is just amazing. I hope you guys give this recipe a try and let me know how you enjoyed this recipe and how your family enjoyed it. After we eat our dinner, we do go back outdoors. We make use of our outdoors as much as we can in the summertime. The kids play, they use their bikes and scooters and whatever that may be. And they just thoroughly enjoy the outdoors. My son is over there watering our plants. We're just soaking all of the moments in. While the kids are upstairs getting ready for bed, changing into PJs, I make my way back into the kitchen to tidy up. I remove everything from the table, wipe it down, and the last thing I do is make something for my kids' school lunch. I'm still doing their school lunches. I cannot wait for it to be over. So here I'm making some scrambled eggs for them so that I can, that could be one of the things that they are going to be eating for school lunch and I just make this the night before and it's totally fine I'm gonna be using like the bento boxes style um, lunch boxes and it's been working out really well for us I included a sandwich some cheese stick and cucumber and that is it for our typical weeknight routine it's not extravagant or anything special or too busy it's just a mom taking care of her family if you enjoyed watching this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to see more videos like this. Happy prepping and thank you for watching from my family to yours.